Hey everyone, okay so today I'm going to be talking you through the kind of two different ways because someone was asking me recently about the Beauty Blender and the Beauty Blender is such a great invention, it really is, the original is really really good and was saying are they really necessary? Now of course nothing is really necessary, you can use your fingers, it doesn't really matter but I wanted to talk to you about how I would use them in comparison to a triangle sponge which you can get really really cheaply and if these are your personal ones you can keep washing these and these will, a single one will last you about a month so they're really really inexpensive now I travel with both without a doubt so the way I'm going to try and describe it is I would use a beauty blender with liquid foundations and rarely with cream foundations and the reason why is with liquid it gives a gorgeous finish to the skin that's very very lifelike and skin like but with a cream foundation, it tends to build too much coverage for my liking a lot of the time. Now, if, if I've got something with more problematic skin, I would probably use a beauty blender. But normally, nine times out of ten, I wouldn't with cream foundations because it just builds too much coverage. So with a cream foundation, I almost always use a, if I'm not using a brush, I will use a damp, an always damp, <clears throat> um, triangular sponge because it gives me an amazing finish to the skin, much better in my opinion than a beauty blender with a cream foundation. It gives a sheerer appearance and if there's any areas on the face that need more coverage, I can go back in with the foundation and then just lightly stipple it. So that's the way I tend to prefer to do it. I think that with liquids, the beauty blender is phenomenal and with problematic skin, again, the beauty blender works. But for me in like everyday life working, I would use with cream foundations, which I tend to use a lot of, I would use just a regular sponge unless it's problematic skin. I hope that kind of helps answer it. I don't think you need to buy really, really expensive one. And there are some amazing dupes on the market now. There really, really are. But the Beauty Blender is still something I use all the time. It's an amazing, amazing invention. And it gives such a flawless look to the skin. But don't underestimate. Just because you can get the... I mean, you can get... These are the ones that I use by Alco. Um, and I get them here in the UK. And just called professional makeup sponges, and they're amazing. They're absolutely beautiful. They're really, really soft, and when they're damp, they, the finish is just spectacular, which is what I want. I don't want to build up too much coverage on somebody's skin if I don't really need to. And that's my thoughts, and they're mine, and I'm sticking to it. Let me know what your thoughts are whether you prefer a beauty blender, a regular damp, always damp sponge or your fingers or brushes, like my brushes, like my number one amazing brush. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I'll see you all soon. Video coming next. Bye-bye. Hello, so if you are looking for a video that will make you Instagram flawless, without the filter, without all that other jazz, then this is the video for you. This is the buffing technique video, and all you need to do is click my box, and you can open it to a new video, or if you're watching on a mobile device, the link will be down there in the description bar. This video will teach you the buffing technique, which is a technique using powder to buff the skin with an inch of its life to absolute photographic perfection. You will not believe it until you try it. So click this video, click my box, or click the link in the description bar. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.